week marks the second anniversary of doctors finding COVID-19 in the U.S. and we're still learning about how the disease attacks the body. New this morning, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at a latest study with startling evidence proving coronavirus attacks more than just the respiratory system and why local doctors say it is important in the key to future treatment. Even the name SARS-CoV-2 implies coronavirus affects just the respiratory system. After all, SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. But new research shows COVID-19 hits the entire body, and that means treatment needs to address the entire body as well. There's lots of cells in our body that can support SARS-CoV-2 infections. Dr. Davy Smith, the chief of infectious diseases at UC San Diego, says he wasn't surprised to learn COVID-19 impacts nearly every part of us. So SARS-CoV-2 is an RNA virus, and most RNA viruses cause a systemic infection. That lines up with results from a new study done by 32 doctors and researchers at the National Institutes of Health, the University University of Maryland and a handful of other clinics. They did autopsies on COVID positive patients and found, quote, while that the highest burden of SARS-CoV-2 is in the airways and lung, the virus can disseminate early during infection and infect cells throughout the entire body. Specifically, their research found viral particles of COVID RNA in the lungs and respiratory tissues in 97.7% of the cases, the brain in 90.9%, lymphoid tissues like the spleen, bone marrow, and white blood cells in 86.4%, gastrointestinal tissues in 72.7%, muscle, skin, and nervous system tissue 68.2%, Renal and endocrine system like the kidney and pancreas in 63.6%, ocular or eye tissue 57.9%, and reproductive tissue 42.5%. People who are really sick with uh, COVID-19, we find the virus in the blood. And as soon as you find it in the blood, you know that it's pretty much everywhere that the blood goes. They also found remnants of the disease as late as seven months after initial infection. Dr. Smith says that's common among RNA diseases like Ebola or measles because it takes the immune system a long time to clear it all out of the body. But he adds it also shows that treatment needs to extend well beyond the first few days or weeks and needs to target more than just the lungs. Infusions or pills or something that gets in our system and can get in all the different cells across our body. So that would be really important to make sure that we stop the virus wherever it's going. This study could also help shed some light on long COVID, which affects about a third of people who get the disease. But researchers say it's too soon to draw any conclusions on whether that comes from the disease lingering in your body, the inflammation from the initial infection, or another cause. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, the study is still under peer review. We have put a link to the full findings at 10news.com.